This is Dr. Gil Wilshire at Missouri Fertility in Columbia, Missouri. Today is obviously surgery day. Today we are doing the basic surgical evaluation of a woman with primary infertility. That means she's never been pregnant, ever. Um, her husband is fertile. Her dye study, her x-ray dye study called a hysterosalpingogram is normal. We've ovulated her a number of times. We've done inseminations, yet she's never become pregnant. Very mysterious. Now, there are many ways to treat this, uh, but if someone is uh, otherwise frustrated and does not want to go to advanced technology, a surgical evaluation makes a lot of sense. We're going to do today my patented bumper-to-bumper -bumper evaluation. What that means is when she's asleep, we're going to examine her and see if there's anything that uh, has uh, a hidden from view in the, cl in the uh, clinic, in the office. We're going to do a hysteroscopy. That means we're going to put a telescope in her uterus to see if there's any problems in there. Make sure the beginnings of the tubes are open. And then we're going to do a laparoscopy where we put a telescope in her belly button and look around. This will give us the best evaluation of her pelvis. And if we find any problems, God willing, we can treat them and make them better. Uh, a lot of patients come to me having had a hysterosalpingogram study done elsewhere and their doctor has said, oh, you're normal. Well, you may have a normal dye study, but it doesn't mean the anatomy is normal. There are things that can evade detection. So this bumper-to-bumper -bumper surgery is the best way to evaluate and treat the pelvis. We should have some answers after this. Now, there's a small chance everything will be normal. That's important information. It affects treatment. There's a very good chance we'll find something wrong that we can improve, which should make the chance of inseminations working much better. And there's a tiny chance she has severe disease, such as endometriosis, that's just been hiding in plain view all this time. Whatever we find, whatever we accomplish, it will be good information. She should be more fertile, and we should be able to make better treatment decisions going forward. I hope that's helpful to you. This is Dr. Wilshire at Missouri Fertility. Thank you for your attention.